everyone, Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to the weekend preview for March 3rd, uh, 2013. And uh, a lot to talk about in this video, especially as you know if you have been following my DSP Gaming channel this past week. Uh, some huge changes, some things that I'm implementing, some road bumps along the way that have kind of screwed stuff up. So it may change what the way that I do stuff this week. So what I'm going to do is explain to you what these changes were, what might change for this week, and what games I'll be playing, etc. So, the big thing to talk about right now is I have been messing around with an HD PVR2 gaming edition, which is a gaming capture device um, for the PC that allows you to take direct feed uh, video from consoles and put it onto the PC. And I've also been messing around with the program XSplit. And XSplit is a program that lets you take the video feed from something such as that capture device and add things such as audio commentary and then live stream it over the internet and also on the fly encode the commentary and the videos and save them as hard files to your computer. So I've been messing around with this stuff this week, okay? And uh, it all came together on Friday. John was here for co-op and we, I said, you know what, John, you know how to do this stuff. Uh, to hell with it, enough with the excuses, enough with the waiting. I know it's going to be a major pain in the ass, but let's just walk out the door, go to Best Buy, buy the shit I need to do, direct feed and live streaming, come back and try to see if we can get it to work. So it's literally what we did. We what we let, went straight to Best Buy. The only kind of capture device that they actually had was a HD PVR2, which is why I bought that one. And so we came home. It was a, it was a pain in the ass to get it to, to, to get everything hooked up because my actual my universal power supply was faulty. It was dying after having it for several years. So we, I said, if I'm buying all this capture equipment, we need to get uh, a universal power supply, a new one, so that it doesn't fry everything. So, but the cord was behind my uh, bookcase, which you can't move because it had hundreds of pounds of fucking models and shit on it. So basically, John was sneaking his arms behind the bookcase to try to unplug this thing, and then I had to get rid of the old power supply, which was completely disgusting and a mess. And basically, it took us quite a while, but we got everything hooked up, we turned it on, we got it working. And so we did a live stream for on Friday of, um, what was it, uh, Decay and also uh, Arcade Craft, just as a test, just to see if we could get this stuff to work. And at the same time, we also did Direct Capture. Problem was, the direct capture footage looked blurry whenever there was motion, and what we actually found out was that XSplit, for whatever reason, encodes at a very low bit rate. It was only like a thousand kilobytes per second, and that's way too low for 720p video, which is why when the video actually was put into a hard video, it didn't look too good, okay? Um, and so over this weekend, I've been messing around with it. I actually found out if I upped the bit rate, that this video looks significantly better, especially during motion and stuff, it actually looked fine. And I also did some direct capture audio uh, from the game. So you've got audio coming from the game. And I also have a microphone here on my table now that I use for my commentary. Now, there have been some blips and bloops and, and, and roadblocks and board bumps and things that I know I'm going to have to work out. Number one, the audio levels still aren't perfect. I think that the audio is either too low or too high. And my commentary is either too loud or too low. So I need, I'm struggling right now to find a balance with direct capture with that. And I will be you know, struggling with that until I finally find the perfect balance. Right now, I'm not there yet, but it will get better. Um, but the other problem that I'm having now, of all things, is has nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with the way I recorded them, the way I captured them, or anything like that. The problem is YouTube, okay? YouTube is having issues with these direct capture videos that I'm creating. And it's funny because today I have a batch of 18 bully videos that I tried to upload to YouTube. Ten of them processed... Eight of them are permanently stuck in processing to the point where I have to now re-upload them overnight tonight to try to get them to show up. And they still might not show up. I might have to keep uploading them and keep uploading them over and over and over until they finally process. And it's a major pain in the ass. And at first, I thought that it was the file type that I was using. Um, I thought that the, the file type is an MP4. And I thought that maybe that was the problem. So now I, I recorded some videos in the FLV file format. And even those, I'm actually looking at it right now. I, can, I can't really see it from my couch, so I'm going to stand up. But I'm uploading three test videos of Grand Theft Auto 4, which I actually live streamed. And the first one literally processed, like, immediately. Zero problems whatsoever. Part 2 has been stuck not processing for over 10 minutes now. And I'm still watching it as I make this video, which is why if you see me glancing over there, that's what I'm doing. 
I don't think that even recording in the FLV is going to fix it. I think that YouTube is fucked up, basically. I think that YouTube, for whatever reason, isn't liking the videos that I'm putting out through XSplit. Now, it could be the HDP VR, the way that that captures the footage. It could be the way XSplit's doing stuff. It could just be YouTube having a bad day. I don't know what it is, but it's a shame because I really like the video quality that I'm putting out with the direct capture, with the, with the, the, the audio commentary and everything with XSplit. But YouTube is being so fucking flaky with the videos, it's pissing me off. And what I'm concerned about now is you got to play through like Bully, where half the parts were missing for hours on end, and now I have to re-upload them overnight. Or is anyone going to watch them now? I don't know. And the same thing, tomorrow I'm going to conclude Bully, the same exact thing is going to happen. Um, and also, I wanted to obviously use direct capture for different playthroughs. Obviously, if I could use it this week for Tomb Raider, for Naruto... Uh, I think people would love that. The quality is better, but I don't know if it's going to fucking upload or not because YouTube is being a, bi a bitch. And it makes no sense because just think of it this way. All my videos are roughly the same length. They're all about 10 minutes long. They were all encoded exactly the same way. How did 10 videos have no problem whatsoever on YouTube and immediately, you know, the process went live and 8 of them stuck permanently? What the fuck is the difference? There's, it's the same kind of video. It's not like I uploaded a 20-minute video and a 5-minute video, or I uploaded one video in one format and one video in another, and that would cause the problem. No, YouTube is just being a fucking pain in my ass. So at this point, I'm wondering what to do, um, especially with the new releases on Tuesday, Tomb Raider and, uh, and Naruto. Uh, what is it? Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 or some shit. Um, I want to try... I mean, I'm dying to play both these games. And I want to do streaming of them as I'm playing them. First of all, people have been loving my live streams. And by the way, uh, my live stream or my stream channel on Twitch TV, which is just Dark Side Phil, actually got approved for partnership. They just need to process the whole application. I gave them all my information. Now they need to put it into the system. So there's a chance that even you know this week I could be streaming and actually having making money off of it and putting ads on it and such. And that would be really cool. Um, and that's obviously something that I've been enjoying the past three days, the interactivity with the fans and everything going on during the streams. But I'm really concerned now that that's great. I could live stream those games when uh, on Tuesday, but then when I go to upload the footage to YouTube, that it's going to fuck up again. And I don't know what to do to control this. If anyone has any recommendations, if anyone uses XSplit and has problems with the videos that they upload to YouTube, please let me know if you know a workaround. The other thing is if someone has an HD PVR2, and if you're also doing the kind of same kind of thing and your videos are having problems or you know how to work around uh, for YouTube, please let me know. I'm not sure at this point what to do. Here I am. I've been talking now for almost 10 minutes in this video, and that video still has not begun to process. It might never process. And there's just I have no control over it. And it's very frustrating that now I've, I've adopted the technology that everyone wanted me to adopt, okay? Everyone's saying that this is, like, the best thing, and now it's fucking up. And it's like, what the fuck? Uh, you know, I, I just want to make this quality content and put it on YouTube, and now it's not working. So I am frustrated. The plans for this week, just so everyone knows, is release the unboxing on Tuesday of Tomb Raider and Naruto. Um, starting both playthroughs that day. And my plan is that I do want to live stream the, the playthrough uh, when I do it. And, uh, you know, so I'll be announcing on that day via Twitter and Facebook, you know, okay, I'm setting up, I'm, the live stream's coming. Uh, I'm probably going to get up early in the morning and pick up the games around 10 o'clock, come back here, fill the, the uh, release day unboxing, go ahead and upload the unboxing, and then start the streaming of the playthroughs. And then I probably will do like streams a few, uh, a few hours of Tomb Raider, upload some of the footage, stream a few hours of Naruto, upload some of the footage. It's probably not going to be all the footage. I may play for like three or more hours and then only upload maybe an hour and a half of the footage, so that way I'm not flooding the channel with videos, which I said I wouldn't do. Um, so that's the plan for Tuesday, and then I'm going to be playing those games all week, alternating between them, um, and then come Saturday, John will be here for co-op, and we're going to try to do a streaming playthrough of The Warriors, okay? We're going to be recording it and also streaming it, so you'll be able to watch it live on Saturday if you're free. If not, you can watch the videos on YouTube. Um, but outside of that, uh, you know, there'll be other stuff going on, obviously. You'll, you're still going to have... Um, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably going to do a channel update to let you know halfway through the week how everything's going with this direct feed and everything and, and whether or not it's still working or if there's problems and it's still not processing. It's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's kind of the rough plan for this week. Two new games, The Warriors on Saturday, 
uh, trying to do sh live streaming during my gameplay sessions on dark the Dark Side Phil Twitch TV channel. Hopefully, getting the partnership approved over there so that I can get credit for the live streams and actually get paid for the ads and stuff that are on it, and uh, and go from there and play it by ear. And later this week, I'll have more of an update for you on how everything's going because right now, unfortunately, I'm kind of in the shitter. Um, so what does this mean? This means that Metal Gear Solid 4 is on hold, um, primarily because the PlayStation 3, you can't really do direct capture with the HD PDR. I've tried a hundred things, and none of it is any quality. It's all choppy and shitty. And so I said, forget it. I'm not going to go to do that direct feed. Um, but I actually have several other capture devices headed to my place this week, including the Elgato, which everyone says to use. They all say it's the best. The Elgato, um, the Roxy OHD, and there's another one, too. I forget what it's called, but I've got three of them coming to my place. Um, they've already shipped, so they will be here, I think, on Tuesday. And it might be interesting to see if I try one of those with, with one of the games I play on Tuesday, what it looks like, if it's any different and such. So. so that's the general news for this week. I'm excited to be adopting Direct Capture. I'm excited to be doing live streaming, but I'm disappointed with YouTube that it's not working properly with the videos that I'm making. So again, if anyone has any ideas uh, on what I can do to make YouTube not have these videos stuck in processing forever, I'd appreciate it. And... Uh, and we'll go from there, okay? So, right now, the, the, the plan is I'm going to try to direct capture my playthroughs this week. It could, unfortunately, it could fail horribly if the, all the videos keep getting stuck in YouTube processing and there's nothing I can do about it. So, I'm hoping that that isn't the case. But I guess we're going to have to see what happens and go from there. So, all right. That's it for the weekend preview this week. An exciting week. We're going to be trying out new things, new games that people want to see. And I'm pumped for it, and I can't wait for it. So to stay in the know on what's going on daily, definitely follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP, and check out my Facebook page at they call me DSP, or the fan book, uh, the fan page, which is they call me DSP one. I think you can like subscribe to that page, and you'll get the updates automatically. But I've been tweeting and posting on Facebook all about what I'm doing, when the streams are going up, and such. And that's what you're going to need to do. When I get a chance, I also have been uploading videos to DSP Gaming, but I'm not always going to be able to do that. So definitely follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to be in the know about the streaming, okay? All right, that's it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you for new gameplay this week. I'm very excited for it. Peace out.